Happy Monday, guys. What's new? We're just going to the gym. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the huge, you know? Ah, uh, yeah. Happy Monday, Rich. What up, what up? <laughs> it's arm day, so we're going to get it in. Arm days are relatively chill. So the goal with this is you want to get it as extended as possible, and you don't want it to go here. This is where I can just rest. Right there. When you start working, that's your range. Rich's arms are, are good. Solid. Yeah. Full stack wasn't enough, apparently. Mama's gonna step in the back. <laughs> and there you go, Rich. Squeeze it. Anaconda squeeze. Alrighty. Last workout. Last workout. Pretty easy day. Pretty easy day so far. Yeah, arm day is always a nice one for us. Richard has been in a lot of our vlogs before. Uh-huh. We are on the same page as also giving birth the same time this year. But Richard's gonna give birth first. Are you hungry? No. We're at Ramanagi. Haven't been here since first trimester. No. Love that this place gives you a side of bean sprouts and like salt, pepper, sesame oil. I got a little spicy, probably just got regular. This is our favorite noodle, the thin one. Just as good, really, just like dial your oils, the toughness of your noodles, what like sides go into it, the vegetables and stuff. Like, it's hard for me to discern. Maybe it's like only when I was in Japan, I was just so immersed. I was like, this is the best ever. Just as good. But mm -hmm. Julia loves this type of egg. She calls it jammy egg. It's not runny, but it's not solid either. Here we go. Delicious. It's like salted too. We are on our way to a fun box. It is hot right now. We usually take them to the park. This is more like an indoor park. Me and Kamea are trying to keep up right now. Oh, what's that coming? Ready, dude? Let's go. <laughs> You got it, Kame. Let's go. You gotta jump onto those. No, no, no. You have to jump, baby. You're gonna fall. Yeah! Yeah! Jump onto the next one. Jump onto that one. No! Hey, that was good, though. High five. You jumped onto the first one. Terrible idea to come to the fun box right after eating. We said that we were gonna give ourselves some time to digest, but this kid zoomed on over to the fun box. Just gotta do my best to not throw up. While we play in the fun box, Mama is over here in this corner editing some of my gaming videos. <laughs> 
Kagame is currently in his Delulu phase right now. He is fighting his nap. He doesn't know what he wants. He doesn't really know what he wants, and uh, he goes back and forth. That's the biggest sign. Yes, no, yes, no. I want it. It's mine. I don't want it. And you might. Yes, this is my bread music gravy today. That's why we're here. For Michelli. And we got fish sauce. We're going to get fish sauce on it. There you go. Maybe he's just hangry. Mm hmm. I'm so excited for this. Mommy. Big cookie, big cookie. Mmm. Mmm, boy. Okay. Another pregnancy craving today after we went to go pick up ingredients to make cookies. How we demolished it a little bit, but Mexican sweet bread. This is his choice. He's been enjoying my pregnancy cravings with me and Kamea. I used to eat this growing up. It's like a short bread. Oh my gosh, so nostalgic. I haven't had that in years. I've never had that since we've been together. <laughs> Can I try this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's sprinkles. My mom used to buy these all the time. Mm -hmm. It's another day, another deadlift. I can hear Malia's doctor in my head being like, no, you shouldn't be doing that. Always important to get your warm up in. Nice and slow, controlled breaths. Waking up them hips, them hamstrings, you know? Keeping that back locked in. Malia is the one that taught me everything I know about lifting. Now I'm out here trying to like, Pass on the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> you start to explain things differently when you learn. Mm -hmm. Over the past six years, I've been going down my own rabbit hole of fitness. <laughs> Learning more, following some more gurus. It's good to be versatile, but in terms of like growing and strengthening, conditioning on, on one exercise or like, you know, your focus core exercises, that's always been like the key to success. The rule applies that yeah. if it's not broke, don't it's fix it. Something as simple as this movement right here, perfecting your form on this for years is what will really develop your muscles. It sounds boring, but yeah. She's doing the same thing for the past decade. But I mean, look at her. She looks amazing. <laughs> and all those things are from like very basic conventional lifts. Yeah, like, and when I'm teaching her or when I taught her like some calisthenics, like some explosive movement workouts, she was quick to learn and quick to pick up. It's because her foundation is strong. I will admit that even though pregnancy is a beautiful journey, doing it the second time around. Well, I would love to just skip to the birthing process, yes. which I do remember you though actually mentioning before that you enjoyed being pregnant. I think it was a unique and beautiful experience the first time around. Because it's like your first pregnancy. When your baby finally comes out, you're just like, oh, I miss protecting them. Oh. Yeah. But then watching Kamen grow to where he is now. Yeah, it's really I'm so already about. excited for our little baby girl to be there. Oh yeah, it's excited to have them grow up, but you yeah. don't want them to grow up so fast. It's like a more fun stage right now that Kamen's in. Yeah. So we can communicate with him. He yeah. understands us to He's learning degree. so fast. Yeah. But still, it is a beautiful process. So the one thing that, that she's really good at is locking in her back. I never see that curve. Oh. Beautiful. Let's go, mama. Take a look at this little stack she got going on. <laughs> this is just gonna be for one. Get it up. Should I try it? Here we go. Mama just added a little five plate on. Her last pull on two plates and 35. Looked really solid, so kicking it up a notch. Let's go. Up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the heck, Mama? We'll see. We'll see indeed. 
like 10 pounds off from the last one. She can get this. She has officially beaten Kame's pregnancy PR and lifetime PR. Yeah, yeah no, I've done it before, but sumos. But with belt, please. Really? This was before me. Yeah. Before my time. But that was with sumo. This is traditional, which is significantly harder. All right, mama. It's heavy. You got it. Locking that back. Shoulders. Core tight. Let's go. Pull it. Pull it. Get it up. Get it up. Can <laughs> <laughs> did it. Holy sh! Dude, what the? F what the? Finally. <laughs> Working that back. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Letting the shoulder slip forward. Go. Pull with the lat. Yeah. We just got back from the gym after an intense session. So you can see these are all our cookie doughs laid out. We're gonna bake as much as we can today and then we're gonna make some more dough because we have a huge order this week. We're going to be rolling out all of our cookies, putting it on that rack, and then we're gonna go through a whole system of baking, setting it on here to cool, it's on there to cool, and then sealing. Okay, so June B requested another order from us. Yeah, they yeah. said that they had really good feedback, which is awesome to hear. We do want to explore another option though for consumers, which is actually like um, a catering size order. Our catering size cookies are are not as big as the original, so it allows you know everybody to kind of indulge essentially in more flavors than just one. Dirty. This is other people's coming. This people. is not for you. It's for people, baby. It's for other people, man. And there lies the trouble of it being, you know, self-employed, working at home, <laughs> you know, with kids. Hey, you feel guilty either way. Yeah, I feel guilty um, that we can't spend time with them, even though we are in super close proximity, but also extremely blessed because we got grandma and grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell how stressful that, that is. Have to pry a child away, seeing their parents right there is like, they don't really understand that it is what it is. But again, super blessed to have yeah. grandparents. Otherwise, we'd be having to find a nanny Montessori in school, which you know is also really expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but, but an option. Yeah. And if he really, really needs us, we're here. We're here, yeah. If he really needs us. Yeah. He's been on a roller coaster of emotions <laughs> ever since he's born, seeing us all around. We've built a really good schedule in the mornings. Oh, he like is already expecting us to, you know, have our gym time. He understands it. He understands it. And he's always like, have a good time at the gym. Yeah, and then we'll come home. He's like, you're done? Yeah. Are you tired? <laughs> yeah, as soon as we're done, we get home and he's like, all right, play time. He knows how to say, pay attention to me. He'll catch my mother when she's editing videos. <laughs> He'll be like, pay attention to me, mama. Like, no, no phone. phone. <laughs> it is a blessed situation that we're in because yep. uh, sometimes Papa can take him off my hands while mm -hmm. I'm working on videos. And then if Papa needs to rest sometime midday because he's the one that wakes up early most of the time for Kame, then he can take his little nap <laughs> just to recharge a bit. A random day I'll be like, yo, I am like negative. <laughs> I'm negative energy. <laughs> Yesterday he fell asleep. He forgot that he fell asleep. I laid down. I thought Kame was going to come in and lay down with me because he woke up super early. He can take a nap if we really, really force him to and then put him down, get him comfortable. If he doesn't have to, he'll, he'll avoid it. He'll fight the crankiness to it. Mm -hmm. And then he'll hit a second wind. But he'll, he'll be fatigued. Yeah, he'll... you could tell because he starts doing these little tired blinks. <laughs> it feels uncomfortable watching him blink that way. He knows he's tired too because he'll say, he'll be like, I'm tired. You want to sleep? <laughs> no. no. At least you're honest. <laughs> so lately he's been falling asleep around 8.30 to 9. Once more we can get him down, boom, later. Mm -hmm. That's like usually time where I can do any voiceover work or game. And my game is like my decompress. If I'm not tired, then we can watch something. We finished uh, bear. The Bear, which was an awesome series. It seems like any, any type it. of um, food movie that has drama in it, we really enjoy. <laughs> right? Yeah, we enjoyed Chef. We enjoyed Burnt. We also enjoyed drug series. Drug series? Oh, like yeah, narco? Yeah, car cartel stuff. Yeah, cartel stuff, mafia stuff. I think in essence, it just shows you a whole different world, something that we're not familiar with. We are kind of action junkies. We like action, action-esque snickerdoodle. Oh my God, to make that. It's a uh, cinnamon sugar. Now that it's fall, we're gonna be introducing our pumpkin doodle cookie, which is very similar, just a little more added spices to it. An old banger. You didn't see that? Nice.
we just finished. Hey guys. Friday, everybody. Guys, I had the worst symptoms yesterday from pregnancy. Oh, oh yeah. I had leg cramps when I was pregnant with Tommy, uh, but they weren't as bad as what happened yesterday. Yeah, last night she came out and she was like in pain. She was tearing up. She didn't know what to do. Yeah, my uh, left entire leg was stuck. It was cramped up and I couldn't move it anymore. So I was limping to the kitchen trying to get water to see if that would help. And usually when I got those leg cramps, it would go away. Like I would feel it and I'm like, okay, I can expect when it would go away, but it was just lasting so long. And then... Yeah, it happened this morning. <laughs> it happened again this morning, like seven in the morning on my left side. But on my left side, it was like this front muscle right here. Yeah. Oh, the, the, yeah, the on shin. On my shin. And then my toes are just like this. <laughs> So Papa had to massage him out. That was so bad. Am I lacking potassium? Yes. Finally have Richard in here. Look at that. Past 90 degrees. This used to be extremely hard for him. So pre-workout is making my face so itchy. Everyone's working right now. Mama's answering well, cookie morning. orders and stuff. And <laughs> Richard's on meetings. Says she wants to uh, see if she can break her PR with squats now. I'm here for it. <laughs> Good job, mama. Let's go, mama. Up, up, push, push. Good. Get it up and push, 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 push. Almost. Need to hit that dip. All right, guys. We are officially delivering the cookies. It's been a long past two days <laughs> of making and baking. We were gonna deliver it yesterday. Yeah. It was getting late and we all just agreed to deliver it today. And then we're gonna shoot a little bit of content there. That was a crazy two days. We felt really bad because Tommy's been wanting to play with mommy and daddy and he has no concept of time so he thinks that we're gone forever. <laughs> and then he gets really stressed out at night before he goes to sleep because he's like, I didn't even get any time with you and I have to go to sleep now. After we drop it off, he has all the time with us now because we got the whole weekend together. Kame knows what this place is once he sees it. Kame, it's Boba. Here we are at Junbi. This is where they keep our cookies right out in the front, guys. Make sure to grab one. And here's the ice cream. Yeah. Okay, here, Bubba. Try it, dude. It's good. Mmm. It's good. Come get your ice cream and cookie fix, y'all. All in one. <laughs> Huh? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say more. Mm. Mm. I have a matcha awesome. on it. Mm. Wow. Mama's bowl and dad does bowl. Bear bowl is cool. You have a bear. Wow, Kami's got a bear bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All the food is here. here. You, you want to chop chicks? <laughs> You owe me a Diet Coke. Mm. I'm just saying, mm, there, I'm hungry. We have I'm a John and I don't care for the fancy cuts like beef tongue. Show me Dan. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, His yeah, power yeah. hand. I like it, come in. Yeah. <laughs> God, oh, he's trying to do a headstand. I know, I know. Hey, nice, dude. <laughs> hey, what's daddy making? Beef. Beef, that's right, Bubba. You guys, back then, when I was like heavily into counting my macros, I used to bring a kitchen scale with me to weigh out all my meat to make sure I was getting enough protein. How crazy would that have been now? So extra. You got kids and everything. Oh my god, dude, chill. This is how I love eating my KBBQ. What? I get my meat 
uh, wrap it in pickled radish. Kame has finally found his courage. <laughs> this is what John has been doing for his rehab. What are you doing? Daddy, Daddy's recovering, baby. Just help Bad Papa with his popping practice. <laughs> hey, look at Dada. Go crazy. <laughs> go crazy. Say go crazy, Daddy. I wouldn't call this one a pregnancy craving because it's kind of like a weekly thing for us when we get in and out. You got a burger. We're finally busting this out again. This is also a good way for me to get my one mile in a day. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're taking Kame to the Toyota Arena to go watch this Hot Wheels slash monster truck. Glow party. Glow party. This idea was presented to us by Chris. He's always shooting us over things Kids, to do for family the family. Things. Tim and Lisa, they always send us like family trip ideas. They were always giving great suggestions even when we didn't have Ken Kame. They're giving us date ideas. Oh yeah. yeah. Shout out to the fam, man. Saving us time on the research. Chris and Lisa wanted to make this their birthday gift to Kame. They left on the week of Kame's birthday to celebrate Chris's birthday actually. A few days after, I think it was Chris and Lisa's anniversary. A lot of things to celebrate yeah, this month. Yeah, so they were just celebrating life. Look at them. You guys see them smiling back there? <laughs> He's entered screamo phase. He's obsessed with Hot Wheels. You guys have seen every time we go to the grocery store, he knows exactly where the Hot Wheels section is. I don't know why, but he's very, very particular with what Hot Wheels he wants to. What are you talking? I'm talking okay. about your, your, your collection of your Hot Your supernova Wheels. car is so ugly. <laughs> we're going to end the vlog for week 33 today and then when we start week 34 it's going to be a huge week for us because there's a lot of planning for the baby shower which is the week after this week since we're trying to budget i'm trying to do everything all diy papa's got a job he has to do for uncle wang it's the first of september and by the end of this month we are going to be entering full term it's going to get a little a little scary because my sister's wedding is coming up it's pretty hot out here today Oh, there's food in here. What?
That is the recap of our entire week. Kami had such a good time today. He had so much fun. This wasn't exactly my pregnancy craving, but it, I was craving cheesecake, and this place was the closest to it. It's our first time having what it. What is this? But this is a crepe. Look how big that is. It's, what is that? It's blueberry cheesecake flavored, so it should fulfill my cravings. What is that, Mommy? My, is this cheesecake? Oh, cheesecake. Oh, there's a hair in here. Oh. What's Look at this. It's like a bouquet. What smell? What smell? Okay. What smell? It smells good. What is that? These are Pocky sticks. Pocky sticks. Pocky sticks. It's good. <laughs> it's good? <laughs> okay. It's black. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. I actually don't know it's how to next how next start this. Mm. Then it came with a set of ice cream. Mm. This place also sold savory crepes and a bunch of other flavors. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Say bye, Tommy. <laughs>